Bipedal robotics experts know Florida's Institute for Human and Machine Cognition, IHMC, for its work in getting complicated humanoid robots up and walking. Boston Dynamics Atlas DRC and NASA's Valkyrie have been at IHMC since 2015, and both have made considerable strides toward dependable movement and manipulation since then. However, at its core, this is relatively outdated equipment. Moreover, there aren't a ton of viable alternatives, at least none of those have been discovered by scientists, to human beings when it comes to strength, speed, and adaptability in the human musculoskeletal system. In 2019, we saw some extremely amazing plastic designs of Nadia, an IHMC-developed humanoid built from the ground up to execute meaningful jobs at human speed in human situations. This project dates back many years when the company decided it was time to construct its own robot from scratch. 16 prototype plastic versions later, Nadia is now a functioning robot, and she's got some serious style. Nadia was built to be the successor of the DRC Atlas and Valkyrie, and as such, it is far quicker, more adaptable, tougher than its predecessors. It has hydraulic actuators in the torso and legs, and electric actuators in the arms and pelvis, for a total of seven degrees of freedom, DOF. Nadia's legs and arms have been designed to be as flexible as possible, and the manipulation workspace in front of it is dense, where it counts. The majority of the robot is protected from the environment by a carbon fiber casing. Given the importance placed on fully immersing the user in VR teleoperation with Nadia, a big manipulation workspace is very useful. Not to downplay the significance of autonomy, but IHMC's participation in the DARPA Robotics Challenge Finals had a significant role in shaping the idea underlying Nadia. It is preferable to have the robot handle as much as possible autonomously, while a person is available to assume direct control of more complicated jobs. Despite the fact that this method falls short of the ideal of completely autonomous robots, it offers a practical solution for enabling robots to do important tasks consistently in the real world. Nadia's ultimate objective is to perform exploration and manipulation activities in urban environments at a pace comparable to that of a human. And if the best way to achieve it is for a human to teleoperate with a robot in real time, Nadia can do that too. That's it for today, and as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and check our website at www.techwiki.co. Thanks for watching.